What's going on guys? Thank you for joining us for another video. Dylan and Jason here with you guys today. What's up guys? Today we're going to be showcasing you guys all of the entries in our DCF Christmas contest. We announced this contest just over a month ago. It is the follow up to our DCF horror contest, which was a huge turnout. So we're super excited to share these entries with you guys today. And next week on Christmas Day, we'll actually be showing our top four on the next Your Customs episode. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, we have Cam Brown 02 with a pair of Mario and Luigi Kobe's. This is a really cool design having the two different characters each on separate shoes a completely red shoe and a completely green shoe All of the artwork looks really good. The little snowflakes going on in the background Definitely a fan of these. I think the highlight of this pair are the portraits man I think the portrait done really really well, especially as uh, they have the, the, the theme of snow on there mm -hmm. And the hats like they have yeah. Christmas hats for them. So that's pretty cool. Right, right Definitely takes a little bit of originality mm -hmm. to add that flavor to them. Next up We have El Dante the artist with a pair of Christmas themed Air Forces what I like the most about this one is with the little white streak that you have on the left shoe, there's like a little, there's a gray shadow that mm -hmm. kind of goes under it and like, mm -hmm. I guess contours like the bottom of the stripe. Mm -hmm. And I think makes, it gives like this 3D effect, kind of like you can feel uh, the stripe when you run your hand across it. Yeah, what's interesting about that concept right there is it's meant to have like a frosting look kind of mm -hmm. around the actual gingerbread. And I think that this is a, a pretty cool technique because something that people were doing on panels like this for the last couple of years is adding a cartoon effect. So you add a black outline here in this case we have a white with a little bit of gray around the outline to make these panels look like they're you know they have frosting around it so right. that's really cool it looks like on the nutcracker shoe we have some pearlescent paints on the red and green stripes so overall this is just a great take and uh, you know I love everything that they were able to do on this pair of forces now we have custom shoes by Hughes with a pair of snowflake Tim's and man, oh man, there is a lot, a lot, a lot of snowflakes on these. These must have been extremely tedious and time consuming to do because there is a lot of snowflakes on here. And anytime you're doing something like this, one of the things that really matters to me is, you know, do they actually look repetitive? Does the first snowflake you did look as good as the 200th snowflake, you know what I mean? Or can you see that you kind of mm -hmm. gave up a little bit and here all of these snowflakes look really, really good. I think another standout feature of this pair is probably like the color, the color separation. So I like mm -hmm. that he chose a different, like a darker hue for the sole. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it came like that already. Maybe he dyed it, not completely sure. Um, and then also the top and the tongue or it's a, it's a nice solid white, which yeah. really separates and like makes the snowflake base stand out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really splits everything up nicely. So next up we have Robert Customs with the Grinch theme. I feel like an area where a lot of people kind of just skip over because either they don't know how to work with it or they're just like not really thinking about it is a strap. Mm -hmm. Like he took the time to stencil the Grinch on the strap. And I mean, obviously you could tell what it is and you could read what it is. Yeah, and it, it reads really well. Yeah, too. good color choice there. Mm -hmm. And then the gradient on the base of the shoes is done well. And I think that, I think this is the first one that we've seen that's actually out in the snow. So this is kind of always a, you know, a good, nice move to take when you're working with a Christmas theme. Use that to your advantage. All right, so next up we have our guy, Israel Soto. Really, really long supporter. I can't remember the first video where I saw yeah. one of his comments pop up. Long but time. Dude's been- Long time been really, the page. He's really supporting us. So we definitely, definitely appreciate you, man. And he has a Peanuts Custom on some Nike SBs. So a couple years back, Peanuts had a collab with Vans, and obviously Vans, the slip-ons look pretty similar to these Stefan Janowski's. And this is just a good take on the classic theme of Charlie Brown Christmas, pretty iconic scene. I like the breakup of the different panels of having that green panel with the lights flowing around the swoosh. That is a uh, nice little touch. And the last picture you have here with the shoe is actually in the Christmas tree. I personally like that because you get like, the overall like feeling, yeah. the theme, and obviously since the the tree and the lights are like a muted green, the shoes stand out a lot Definitely. more. So Definitely. I think it really works here. Great point. Next up, we have custom shoes by Hughes again with a Miser Brothers Christmas theme pair of Jordan 1s. Really cool take. We have one shoe with the uh, ice character and one shoe with the fire character. And I think that this is some um, great color blocking on the Jordan 1s. I like the clean solid toes on the ice. Looks like a nice silver. And then we have a couple different gradients going on on the fire pair. So those are some things that are really standing out to me at first. I also feel like there's a good majority of people who like having like that two tone shoe thing. Mm -hmm. Like one shoe is like one theme and then the other yeah. shoe is another theme. Mm -hmm. And obviously in this case it works because of the two characters. Yeah. So really good job on that. 
Next up we have Bees Customs with a pair of Christmas themed Jordan 1s. So I think my favorite thing about these is like, yeah, I mean, everything is solid. Like the cartoon work is amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything's like done painted really well, but the color blocking in this one, the color choice of like where the greens are, mm -hmm. where the reds are, yep. where the, obviously the yellow, the lights are, mm -hmm. like everything is just really well balanced. And mm -hmm. like this is to me a shoe that Nike would release mm -hmm. and like with no question, it's amazing. You hit the nail on the head, dude. This really, really achieves that classic Jordan 1 color blocking. Mm -hmm. Perfect amount of white, perfect amount of red, perfect amount of green. All of the little details on the characters are really good. That glowing effect around the actual lights is done super clean too. So this is just a phenomenal job. And then just a few of those little details that you finally catch after taking a look around the rest of the shoe is there might have been a little strap added around the uh, back heel of these that holds those little bells in place. I don't think that that strap was actually there on the base shoe. And then of course, you can never go wrong with the Santa Jumpman. Now we have Custom Shoes by Hughes with their third entry with a really cool pair of Hydro Dip Crocs that were done for his daughter. That blue is really popping here. It seems by this point you really have the Hydro Dipping down. Honest, I wish we had it. Like, I wish yeah, we had right? it down like that because last time we tried it just said, dude, it didn't end up, it didn't end up well at all. But I like how everything's readable. Like that's like the mm -hmm. most important part of it. it doesn't look. Um, I guess what's like blurry. Yeah. I guess it doesn't look yeah. like messy. Yeah. Like a big blob of paint that actually looks re readable and it's, it's done really well. Even having that extra strap, it looks like, you know, the uh, the actual Hydro Dip film was applied really evenly here. Mm -hmm. So next up we have Fat Cap Customs with a pair of Rudolph themed SB Dunks. Honestly, this pair reminds me of something that Jeff Staple would do with the little pigeon. I think like his placement where the, yeah. the Rudolph head is. That's like where Jeff Staple would have a little pigeon. And then obviously the color blocking, everything's done really, really well, man. I love this pair. I think that this is a pair that really is along that fine line of looking like a potential release and then being done by an extremely talented artist because there's a lot of cool things going on here. You know, this texturing that's going on on the brown, it seems like we have what might be a glowing toe box. Obviously, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with the glowing nose, it looks like we have some type of glow going on on the toe. We have the Dubrays with the little latitude and longitude. There's just a lot of little fine details in here that we're starting to see more and more from Fat Cap Customs. Now we have MC Kicks with an absolutely insane pair of Christmas Air Forces. The standout to me is this kind of tealish, Tiffany-ish, uh, ugly sweater pattern that we have on the mid panel along with the toe box. And that pattern looks so insanely crispy. I absolutely love how that came out. There is so many details on this pair that just really pop the more you look at it. I was telling Dylan, I think the amount of time that a pair like this takes Oof. is just insane. Like mm -hmm. all the stripes, the the line work, the patterns, I think the little rhinestones and the swoosh and the sand of the hat. I can't even, oh my god, is that, what is that like, an, I can't even tell you how many hours that probably took. Them. Well over, insane. well over 25 hours, I'd say. That's and insane. Do yourself a favor, zoom in, go ahead to their Instagram, zoom in on this pattern. This is, uh, this is what you're going for, to make it look like a machine did this, but it is done by hand. And uh, all of the stripes, looks like we have the same even width in that pattern. Like I said, it, it really came off super crispy. Yeah. So next up we have custom covered Quinn with a pair of Christmas themed baby shoes. What I like about these is like there's a little like hint of Rudolph in the toe. Mm -hmm. Like he's kinda like peeking out, it's yep. not too it's like not too much. You know what I mean? And then yep. like the obviously like the what is that? Like the curve of the shoe, like the toe box, mm -hmm. kind of matches like what Rudolph's like yeah. mouth would look yeah. like. You know, That's like, a great point. Definitely does a good job at doing that. Great point. I like the added glitter and then just taking some classic characters and putting a little Christmas spin on them. So great job here. Now we have Mark Long with a gingerbread pair of Air Maxes. What I love about these is that in one of these photos, we actually get an on foot look at these and these actually look like a pair of shoes that somebody could actually wear, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Clean color blocking, I like what you did with the stripes. Uh, you know, those stripes that are on the 97s, almost has like a candy cane potential look to having the red and white alternating stripes. The laces are a really cool touch too. Using a pipe cleaner as a lace, Mm -hmm. It's pretty uh, clever, especially yeah. because you know, pipe, obviously, like the texture yeah. and like the glitter look of the pipe cleaner. You don't, you wouldn't really find that as a lace. No. So it's pretty clever and unique to use that as a. As Thinking a lace. outside the box on these. Yeah, definitely. 
So next up we have the Kick Fix with a pair of Sino themed Air Force mids. I always love when people can kind of like take the swoosh and make it mm -hmm. just like, like what else can you do with yep. it? Like what yep. theme can you make it? Like what character can you put mm -hmm. on there? And this dude took the beard of Santa and literally made it the entire swoosh. I think that's, that's sick. Super creative, mm -hmm. super creative. I also love just how it flows too of how the reindeer are pretty close to Santa to where, you know, it still kind of looks like you know, it started off visualizing this of, you know, Santa kind of guiding that sleigh. Uh, just the proportions of the reindeer and everything, that's awesome. And then one of the coolest touches here is when we take a look at this top view and we see the strap of the Air Forces, which then turns into Santa's belt. Super cool how that came out. Now we have On Fleek Martin with a 60s Christmas pair of Jordan 1s, taking a lot of those classic 60s themed movies and animations, applying it on a Jordan 1, utilizing the different panels. Love how these came out, you know, captivating all of those different scenes from those iconic scenes from those different movies, and a really clean, subtle gradient within a lot of the blue on these that takes up a majority of the other panels. So I feel like it was a really smart move by choosing a different color, like different hue of blue for the base mm -hmm. of the shoe, where the swish is, where the characters are, because it really separates and the really mixed up characters pop off from the rest of the shoe. And I genuinely like that she went with just like blues for, yeah. the, for the base of the shoe because I feel like if she went with the green, like red, white combo, it really wouldn't work as well. But yeah, I think she did a really solid job. Definitely. Next up we have Pursue Custom with a pair of Grinch Skate Highs. I mean, right off the bat, you could do this. The cartoon work is amazing. The like drawings, the portraits. Really taking solid, advantage of all those different work, panels. Highlights, so I mean, shadows, like everything out on it is just clean. Yeah, one thing that I'm really liking outside of all of the panels that have the images from the movie is those panels where we have the red and gold stripes. You know, as we're starting to look through a lot of these themes, one thing that I'm just really paying attention to is how are, you, how are your line weights when it comes to stripes? Are they actually solid and even the whole way through? Do you have the same width on all of your lines to make a clean stripe pattern? And these really hit the nail on the head. I also really like that for the picture's sake, at least there's no laces. We have a little bit of a bow instead. This way you can really showcase all of the artwork that's also included on the tongue. Now we have Creations of a Dangerous Mind with a nativity themed pair of Converses. Um, I think that this is a great base shoe to do something like this on. This would really only work if you're working on a pair of Converses or maybe like a Van Skate High where you have that nice tall collar and you can add some more of that scenery, whether it be that night sky or adding a little bit more height into that wood paneling of the barn. It really only works when you have a nice shoe like this. I also like that he took the effort of putting the shoes in the environment where they actually fit the shoe like you mm -hmm. see like some of the with a hay yeah on like a little cloth and obviously you, you would see the same image in the actual shoe it's a really good job at going the extra mile and putting the shoes in their environment so now we have spray this paint that with a pair of Rick and Morty themed air forces so I'm sure this wouldn't be the first time you guys hear it but obviously Dylan always talks about like painting the sole is never a good idea but in a case like this for a contest and like a themed shoe mm -hmm. I think this is it's pretty cool. Like yeah. it's pretty unique. One of those small details that adds to the overall shoe. And without it, it wouldn't be as great of a shoe. But it genuinely adds a lot, a lot of little, a lot of like, what's the word? Life. Like a lot, a lot to of it. life to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. I think that if these had that all white sole, they certainly wouldn't be as cool. So I love how that came out. All of the little stenciling looks super clean here. Mm -hmm. And you know, just that nice original touch with the Mary Swiftness and you know, adding that Christmas aspect to the characters. Now we have Customs by G with a Gangster Christmas Air Force One. There's a lot of cool parts to this pair, man. Obviously the original pieces on the toe of the uh, Santa rocking some chains and stuff. But to me, the standout is the bow on that swoosh, along with the little ribbon that's weaving in front of and behind the swoosh. Incredible detailing with all those highlights and shadows. Tell me it doesn't feel like you could reach out and touch that bow. No, definitely. Like you said, I think I like the originality of it. Like the whole like gangster aspect, yeah. aspect of it. Like it's just done really, really clean. Dude, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing shoe. Awesome pair. And the gold laces are a nice little mm -hmm. touch too to seal these up. Now we have Maldane Lunis with a pair of Christmas Air Max 90s. There's a lot of cool different textures going on here. We have chocolate, gingerbread, icicles hanging near the sock liner, the candy cane stripe. Just really combining a ton of different Christmas elements onto one shoe. And the subtle Christmas details like with the candy cane swoosh, the Nike lettering on the tongue tag. Mm -hmm. I think it's also like a candy cane like kind of style and then the ribbon as the shoelace. 
I mean, obviously it ties it all well together. And with the second entry, we have Aldante the Artist with this pair of Festive Force ones. The portrait work on these is really clean, man. I think, I mean, dude, it's really hard to nail down portraits, especially of people, faces that we all can recognize yeah. and like notice the errors in them. But he did a really good job at, at recreating these portraits. They're really solid. Especially at that size, you right. know what I mean? Really small panel and then all of the little, 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 little texturing that's going on on those gumdrops along with the little shading behind it, mm -hmm. those gumdrops really look like they're sitting on the shoe, so they nailed the texture on those. And then just that clean color blocking on this pair of forces, so love how these came out. Next up, we have Massive Customs, a pair of Christmas-themed Pac-Man vans. I'm always a fan of subtle details that you have to go back and take a second look at. Mm -hmm. So if you zoom in on these and like look at the actual like the logo, you have like little icicles on it, mm -hmm. you, have a pack, you have a Santa hat mm -hmm. on the Pac-Man logo, Little small things like that really uh, like get me to buy a shoe. Yeah, like you said, I mean, this isn't one where right away the Christmas theme screams at you, but once you actually take a look, you see that, you know, there's that added Christmas element to the artwork within the actual gameplay. So really cool how that came out. So next up we have Middle Child Customs with a pair of the Year Without Santa Claus themed Tims. The gradient that they achieved within like the small area of the text. Yeah. Uh, not, I mean obviously you would know how to do something like that, but I think to work in a small area like that and to still get that gradient from yellow to red. Takes, I mean, really clean. Yeah, really, really clean. Really clean. Yeah, and then the stenciling of those light blue snowflakes up against this kind of light gray tim, those came out really crispy also. Now we have J-Dub Customs, who you guys might remember from our horror contest. He had the insane pair of Chucky themed bands that made the top four. Here we have a Peanuts themed pair of cleats up against this maroon base. I love the little subtle, tiny little splatter. That came out really clean. Obviously the artwork within the Peanuts characters is really good. Those lights that are moving in and out from you know behind the swoosh and in front of, that came out clean. But my favorite part is the artwork that it takes to achieve that glowing effect around the bulbs on the inside of the shoe. And there's a little small detail that I would have never noticed if you didn't point it out, but and I'll, also, I would never think of to do this on a custom. But if you look at the at the eyelets, mm -hmm. you have little icicles dropping yeah. down. Man, that's so creative, so just genius. Honestly, like, yeah. I would never have thought to do that. It's super tiny too, so it's one of those things that you notice as you start to look at them more. So great job here. Next up, we have Alter Eagle Three One Two with the pair of Grinch themed stands. My favorite detail about these one is uh, the fact that he whited out the Stan Smith logo and put the Grinch's face on there. I remember last. Last, I mean, like two years ago when you did a pair for Gary V, mm -hmm. I remember you put Gary V's faces on there. Yeah. So it's little small touches like that that do that just adds so much to the shoe. It makes it a Grinch pair. Definitely. Shoe, you know what I mean? Definitely. Can't go without talking about the added little fur around the sock liner. The artwork looks really good here. I also like the color of red that was used. It's almost a little bit of white added to it, a little bit of light pink or something. It's not that bright, vibrant fire red, mm -hmm. but it looks really clean here and just some great classic Christmas color blocking done on these. Now we have Kong Customs with a black Christmas pair of Ultra Boost and Ultra Boost are a tough shoe to work on. There's a mm -hmm. lot of different materials going on here and there's artwork across all of the materials. So we have stuff going on on the Boost, we have stuff going on on the cages in the back, and then we have stuff, a lot of artwork going on on the prime knit of the upper, and that is super tough to work on. So to be able to achieve anything on a pair like this is a really tall task, and a lot of this came off really clean. And the picture set of them is pretty good too. I like mm -hmm. I like the different settings he puts it in. Yeah. Um, can't completely see if it's like all photoshopped or not. But I mean, dude, it's, it's really clean work, honestly. The fact that you can make it look like it's in the actual environment, if it is Photoshop, huge, huge. Really, really clean job, man. Next up, we have Gonzalez Graphics with a pair of Christmas themed skate highs. The artwork done on the toe box and the tongue is really clean. I also like that you did, obviously, one part on the left shoe and then one part on the right shoe, and then when they're together, it makes one full picture. But uh, dude, it's done really well. I like the face of the Grinch, it looks very detailed, mm -hmm. like realistic, um, just overall clean. Yeah, trying to achieve that continuity of one scene across two different shoes, mm -hmm. that is insane. That's a tall task before you even get started. And then, like you said, if we take a look at, you know, the fur of yep. the Grinch himself, the fur within the Santa suit, 
just incredible here. I think that the Grinch scenes on this shoe are definitely the standout to me. Now we have Art Alamanga with a Christmas pair of Air Lunar Forces. I love the gradient of that light gray slash silver into this nice blue, uh, you know, right back into that silver grayish. Mm -hmm. And then that candy cane stripe just has a clean Christmas look. I'm a huge fan of how they used the tab near the back heel. Like they already mm -hmm. incorporated something that was part of the shoe and made it and made something on top of that. So the base of the Christmas tree is that tab. So it's really smart. And then you Great put the touch. presents next to it. I think it, and then adds like a depth to it. Yeah. So I think it's a really right, good job. Right. You know, it's taking advantage of looking at the shoe from mm -hmm. different angles and stuff. So next up we have CA Studios with a pair of Christmas themed Nike shoes. So in the caption it actually says that his 12 year old son did these. And if you look at, I guess like the overall like shoe, just a ton of potential where like a 12 year old in a couple years would actually grow and create like a really cool shoe you have like the the portrait work of santa and then you have like the icicle dripping off the swoosh i feel and then also like the little was splatter, splatter yeah. all over the shoe and the stuff like that as you can imagine just like grows to become something yeah which in a couple years just a lot better. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's just insane that we have this weird idea to host a Christmas contest, have everybody do a Christmas shoe. And this is the coolest part that a 12 year old decides that they want to enter and we're able to, you know, provide a, a platform for them to see something that they might want to take a little bit more serious in life. Mm -hmm. and, and they go ahead and, and give this a shot at 12 years old. You know what I mean? Like you said, the potential's there. So it's just super cool to see, you know, entries like this. And shout out to CA Studio for supporting your son, really. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, we get a lot of comments from people saying like, our parent, my parents won't let me yeah. buy this. Right. They won't let me do this. Yeah. But, you know, that goes a long way in the future. Encourage and inspire the youth, mm -hmm. for sure. Next up, we have our buddy Ty Custom Kicks all the way over in Slovenia with a really cool pair of Christmas Forces. Two different shoes, but ties them together with that candy cane swoosh. And then we have some, you know, just really dope original artwork on both of the shoes. On the gingerbread shoe, we have the little Santa elves along with Santa on the toe box. And then on the little snowdrop background pair, we have the Christmas trees. We have the snowman up against the swoosh. Just some really cool stuff here. And then obviously the straps, he went ahead and put a candy cane mm -hmm. theme on there. Obviously, like I said before, I think a lot of people would just avoid that area or yeah. just paint it the same color as the base. But I think putting the candy cane pattern on there ties the shoe well together. Now we have Bart's Kicks who took the Nike SB Dunk Highs in the red velvet colorway and then just added a couple cool little details to make it even a little bit more Christmas. A couple added patches and then the lacing system that we've seen on some new off-white collabs and then the little bells added near the back of the shoes. So I love how these came out. So next up we have Detailed 5 with the pair of Scrooge themed Continentals. I feel like the Scrooge is uh, its not a weird theme to pick. I think it's a very bold theme yeah. to pick because not a lot of people will tackle it. Right. As we've seen, like I think this is probably the first and maybe only Scrooge themed pair of shoes we're going to see. And that's because a lot of people probably wouldn't know how to I really like yeah. go at it. Some exactly. younger people might not even recognize it. Right, them. right. But yeah, man, the artwork is super clean here. The Scrooge is really coming out of that. He's in the foreground, and then we have all of this cool depth added in the background of that night scene. And then this wood grain pattern on the other shoe is absolutely phenomenal. Next up, we have JS Custom Kicks with a really cool pair of Frosty the Snowman Nike Vapor Untouchable Cleats. I love that glitter sole. That's something that we did on one of our Christmas cleats last year. The artwork's really dope how we have the different snowflake patterns going on in the background. So I love how those look up against this Frosty artwork. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like how he continued the snowflake pattern onto the sock liner. Mm -hmm. And especially because that material is like a, like a mesh, like kind of like yeah. flexible. So yeah. you don't want to paint any like portrait work or character work on there because it yeah. really wouldn't paint well. It would right. probably bleed. So a uh, smart move, just continuing the, the stencil pattern on there too. Next up, we have Fab Casa with a pair of Grinch Kyries. I'm not entirely sure what parts of these are painted, what might be a Nike ID or an actual released colorway. Not 100% sure, but I, of course, will always love that original Kobe Grinch. These translate that theme really well with the nice little added red laces, and then just these differentiating shades of yellow and that lime green. Came out really dope. So next up, we have Soul Glow Custom Kicks, and I think my favorite highlight of the shoe is the Under Armour logo. I feel like the fact yeah. that he didn't just paint it white or paint it gray or whatever other color would have gone with this. 
I like that he took a different approach and like froze the logo and yeah. made the icicles come off of it. Really, really clean work, man. Super creative too. It really has, you know, some texture. You literally feel like you could mm -hmm. touch that logo. It's not, you know, just a flat blue or anything like that. The icicles really have some depth to them. And then one thing that I really enjoy about Sogo Custom Kicks, who you guys might remember from episode four, he had a really cool pair of mm -hmm. uh, Joker themed cleats that were on Reviewing Your Customs. And he has a signature black and gray theme that he likes to do all of its portraits in and he combined the black and gray portraits onto a otherwise colorful cleat we have you know a vignette around this red cleat with you know this icicle under armor logo this green sole and then just throwing his style his theme on top of it love how these came mm -hmm. out Next up, we have Dub Customs with a Christmas colorway on a pair of Jordan 1s done using some pearlescence. So I love how those have that nice metallic touch to them. And also the color blocking is really well done on this one too. Absolutely. Obviously the, the color choice of like which panel gets painted what, really clean. Definitely looks like it could be something that Jordan might release if they were ever doing mm -hmm. a simple Christmas colorway on a Jordan 1. Next up, we have BW Custom Kicks with a pair of Grinch themed Air Max 1s. So for 13 years old, man, this is really, really clean work. I feel like he definitely, maybe, hopefully, I've seen, I've seen some of the videos and learned how to properly customize a shoe. You yeah. know how to properly um, prep a shoe and then paint it, and it's just really clean work. I mean, this is just awesome to see. 13 years old, first time doing this, first time you paint a shoe is to mm -hmm. enter into a contest like this. It's just awesome that we're able to put this out into the world and then have stuff like this. And this is, this looks like it wasn't your first time doing right. a custom. You know what I mean? Everything looks really good here. So bright future ahead for you, buddy. Now we have Slip the Hustler with a pair of Jack Frost Nikes. This is a cool take on that theme. This is another one of those themes that not everybody's gonna do. It's starting to become a little bit of an older movie, 40 years old now. And uh, I love how this theme came out. I like that there's a lot of different things going on as far as some glitter on different panels. The artwork's cool. I would like to see a little bit of duller along this main base of the blue. It looks a little too shiny right now, so some duller would really help give these a little bit more of a factory look. I like that he went ahead and tackled the, the insole, man. I feel like a lot of people don't touch that at all, yeah. honestly, because like the paint will run off maybe, yeah. or like dye, the, dye your sock, but... I mean, for a contest, like a themed pair of shoes. Going all out. Yeah, it definitely adds like the extra mile to it. Next up, we have Swaggy S sneakers with a pair of Grinch Converse. Yeah, overall, I think the character work is done really well. The title of the Grinch, the little highlights, the shadow behind, the drop shadow, obviously adds like the extra depth to it, but a clean, clean job. Yeah, the portrait work on this canvas is just absolutely mm -hmm. incredible. And it's not just one theme, you know, it's a little collage of different images mm -hmm. and man oh man really hit the nail on the head as far as capturing that texture of the fur from uh the grinch so really clean job here next up we have bobby is homeless with a gingerbread pair of vans really cool use of the base shoe here we have that frosting you know from the top of the house along the collar or the sock liner i like the little striping that's kind of going along each of where the panels meet mm -hmm. where we have kind of that you know little frosting that might be on the gingerbread house with the little colored dots and then the candy cane stripe love it and i think adding the black black bold line to where the yeah. frosting drops obviously just it adds a well, well did you say depth what would it add no, to it, it kind of looks cartoony here mm -hmm. but it matches for this shoe right. specifically next up we have gdc 613 with a pair of grinch themed shoes well i think we can both agree that the portrait of the Grinches. Look at those wrinkles. It's phenomenal. That is insane. It's phenomenal. I think he, he also added like a little bit of shadowing Oof. to the wrinkle, which Man. is like, you could, it feels like you could run your finger across that. So good. I mean, we can't even really tell what shoe this is specifically, but just from zooming in, it doesn't look like it'd be a fun material to work on. So to achieve this level of portrait mm -hmm. work on these, just absolutely and insane. And the little hairs in the chin area, like yeah. the beard, the just, just clean work. Look guys. at those wrinkles. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that is insane. Next up, we have Riley James Customs with the first pair of loafers that we've seen. This is a tough shoe to work on, that velvet, and then doing that detailed bear along with that coffee. Uh, these came out super sleek, dude. If we actually take a more detailed look at the bear itself, we have some highlights going on along the suit and then you know, capturing a lot of different shades of brown within the actual bear's face on this tough texture to work on. So 
Really great job here. So next up we have Outlandish Customs with a pair of Grinch themed vans. This is actually some pretty clean like cartoon work. The shadowing and the highlights on both the, 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 the red suit and the yeah. ornament. It's pretty, pretty well done, man. Yeah, you nailed it, man. If you're ever gonna just do a big, bold cartoon, a van slip-on, always a great call for a base shoe to do it on. Next up, we have Custom Covered Queen with their second pair of Christmas-themed shoes. I think to add separation to the rest of the shoe, like some of the panels, like this panel specifically with the green stripes, mm -hmm. I think she added glitter. Yeah. I don't know if it's just glitter paint or like she added glitter to the actual paint itself, but I think that that's a nice separation for the rest of the shoe. Yeah, there's there's a lot lot going on here as far as uh, you know the two different shoes, all these different panels. I mean, these must have taken a lot of work because mm -hmm. almost every single panel is different across yeah. these. A lot of different artwork going on. So great job here, Custom Covered Queen. Next up, we have Marissa with a pair of Christmas Disney themed Air Force. There's a gradient on each toe box, which is done really clean. You go Smooth. from a really dark red and green to a light, almost white yeah. uh, green and red. Uh, and to pull that off is super, super clean work. Yeah, I think uh, what I really like about these, you know, people always ask what is our recommended base shoe or shoe to start with. And this is one of the reasons why I really like the Air Force because on one side, you could just take a simple classic colorway and do clean, simple color blocking. Mm -hmm. Or you can use all the panels of the Air Force to your advantage and just, you know, lay out some different artwork across every one, which we see here. We have some of the Disney characters on the toe box. We have the presents that are wrapping around the toe box panel, and then we have, you know, some snowflake panels. We have the panel behind the swish where we have uh, a little bit of a snow pattern in red, and then the Mickey head mm -hmm. shapes in green. And so this is just using all of the different panels of an Air Force One to your advantage. Love how these Disney Christmas shoes came out. So big thank you to everyone who entered the contest. We honestly can't even show you how grateful we are to have such a community that is so strong and so let's get supportive yeah we have people who are 12 years old all the way to who even knows like how many how many years old they are painting yeah. shoes and entering this contest and probably the craziest part is that it's not even just here in the u.s with us it's all over the world yeah. we have people from sweden mexico like literally like slovenia all, so literally like Insane. all over the world so it's crazy to see all the support we get from which is a global audience but we still didn't show you guys our final four and that will be on next week's episode of reviewing your customs so make sure you guys are tuned in for that yeah Again, thank you guys for taking time out of what is everybody's busiest time of the year to go ahead and enter this contest. An absolutely insane turnout. Again, thank you all of you guys for these amazing submissions. Mm -hmm. But like Jason said, we're saving the best for last, the final four. Can't wait for you guys to see all of them. Again, the voting is gonna be open to the public, so you guys are gonna choose the winner and who wins that grand prize. So really excited about that. Make sure you have those post notifications turned on, and we'll see you guys in that next video.